Good morning everyone. Today we are going to have a look at clash detection per discipline. And what we can see on the right there is that we can have our different coordination spaces. We have to make sure that we've got the correct one and we can also manage them from project admin. That is within the BIM 360 coordination module. And once we've done all of that then what I've done here is to link in the shared models from the teams into a container model into my coordination space and what happens then is the 3D views are set up uh, for each discipline and they are then extracted when the model is published. Here we can see either from a cloud or from a design model that there are all the views that were published. We can filter them out per floor if we know what the code is. There we can see we've got the architectural and the structural floor uh, model for the ground floor available to us and um, there we can see that there are some clashes for the two models. The one model's got more clashes than the other and that is because it can understand uh, that it's got other models that it's clashing with. All right. We can set up the uh, clashes if we, you know, we can have a look at one model at a time. That's not going to achieve very much, but you can see what that looks like. There's the view. Uh, we can set that up initially just by choosing two models and creating the view, or otherwise we can edit that view later and we can also add more models to that view. It's pretty easy to navigate this view. It's the controls are the same as in the other modules of BIM 360 and there um, we can add another view as well. There we can see it. So now we've got both the structural and the architectural. In this model the architectural um, model hasn't been developed overly much so there is only one of the architectural models for the ground floor so we don't see when we do include further floors we don't we won't see such a big difference we can give this view a title i predicated with view uh, we can have it as private or published um, i would like mine published and then one can give it a description so after we've initiated the view we've got some tabs over there we can see at the moment there's models there's clashes and we can also add models to these clashes so like i said this model isn't overly developed but we can add the floor below and above so the structural reference uh, or the structural floor is the reference we want to know what's clashing with the structural floor we're switching on the architectural models above and below and um, uh, in the same uh, floor level, namely ground floor level, as the architectural model and there we can see well there is actually only one floor present. We'll see shortly when we look at the um, the architectural model because the structural model is more developed that we can see some more elements there but it makes sense. If you're on the ground floor you want to clash detect with the floors above and below as well just in case uh, some of your elements might be interfering with the floor above or below. You can see where you can choose the um, the file that, that you want as reference and then each and every element within that uh, file which is clashing with something else in one of the other models will come up uh, and it will show you that uh, that clash detect so that's quite useful but even more useful than that is to do it per type all right so per family type it will then isolate for you all of the clashes that's happening with that family type so it makes the assumption that there are typical clashes that will occur within a family type and there you can see them all the walls and the beams are clashing all right so then it's easy later on uh, we'll see in the next uh, video blog that we can assign uh, issues to these clashes and meddle and uh, manage these issues over time and then within the different versions as well so that's actually really exciting then we could just create one issue and say to somebody in the architectural team or to the architectural team or a company depending on who we assign that issue to listen guys you need to go and cut out some holes out of the walls because all the beams are clashing with your walls it's a simple issue it's a simple instruction we don't have to indicate each and every clash and then they can go ahead and actually fix that model so in this instance we can see the three floors from the structural model we're now looking at the um, at the architectural model and how that is clashing with the structural model therefore we created a new view for that it's discipline specific remember that's how we set it up and uh, give it a description we make it a published view so that other people can also see these clashes or our teams can see these clashes if necessary and there we go now we can have a look so everybody in the design team really should have one of these licenses so that they can have it open on their one screen they can have a look at where the clashes are and they can fix their models accordingly and update the issues as they go along so there we have them per type we can see how they are
generating these slashes and we can see that right in the next video blog like i said we'll be looking at um, assigning issues and how to manage them across different versions well i hope you've enjoyed this keep well